For Boeing Chief T-7 pilot Steve Schmidt and fellow Boeing test and evaluation pilot Bill Berriman, a critical engine restart test in mid-air will prove the new advanced trainer's ability to restart the engine if a flight crew ever has to shut it down during an emergency. With a safety chase plane in the T-7's shadow, Schmidt and Berryman quickly climb from St. Louis Lambert International Airport en route to the test area. Test engineers focused on the moment. In seconds, the T-7's only engine will be purposely switched off, leaving Schmidt and Berryman in a cockpit of a dormant aircraft. One final go-round. Fuel. Fuel, let's go. Electrical. Go. Copy. ECS. ECS is go. Comma. Berryman declares their position. Red 6722, about to start a descent to 10,000, And the engine is shut off. Flight test power is off. Caution, caution. Boost low, boost low. Your blood pressure kind of goes up when you shut the engine off. Uh, you're only engine airborne, but uh, you're just following your procedures. You're looking at what you expect to see. Then, after 48 seconds without power, Berryman pushes the engine restart, and the T-7 is brought back to life. 70,000, looking good. Alright, flight test power is back on data. Copy. Well, it worked fantastic, so it worked as expected. What really gives me the confidence to go up there and be willing to go ahead and shut the engine off. I've got that great team backing me up. We have confidence in the system and that goes into the airplane now. I mean, we're just proving it to everybody else that this airplane is very robust and it's safe and it's going to be a great pilot trainer for the U.S. Air Force. Back right, 6-7, maintain 4,000, proceed back to initial. Put the tower now, Red, 6-7. Tower data com check on one, two, three. Five, three, data copies. Throttle, throttle. Five, three, data complete. 